as you approach. A guttural scream and then a low moan. Someone or something is having a bit of fun. Let's leave them alone. I don't want to be invited to the wedding. that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. Goblins aren't known for their cleanliness, but by Mistress Mantle, this place is rotten. The fewer breaths we take here, the better. Ah, drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. <laughs> Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag. He produces an ice pick. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Aging? What do you mean, aging? I'm a vampire, forever young. What are you talking about? My skin isn't... Is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hush you. And behold! telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress' coattails. Oh, she'll love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. She hates it when anyone does that. The pleasures I experienced in Mistress' embrace go far beyond the thrill of having one's tummy tickled. I remember once she took the smallest piece of the weave and made it into... Wait. Are you saying... You know what? I think I've clearly had far too much white. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it. And 
get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry. I Just as you find your flow, you slip. Perhaps you should leave before someone notices. Promise to swap once I get tired. Oh, please, I can barely manage my pack. You'd kill me. My queen. Shkarthai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The deathless queen has spoken. You will obey. Trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. Everyone hates you. You think the creatures of the realm owe you something just because you never shut up. They whisper about you, you know. Call you stupid and ignorant. They wish you were dead. <laughs> Sulfur, decay, and a thin whiff of something un. The mead tastes of rot and sour milk. Your stomach lurches, but your loins tingle. Was that arousal? Why are you looking at that dead spider coquettishly? Bring it. <laughs> the Orphan is nothing. I'll have my satisfaction when Raphael makes good on his word. For helping me, it was very kind. Sweet. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? He'll be useful in battle if those tree trunk arms are an indication. I think I'll enjoy traveling with Halson. Not for his wit or wisdom. He'll just make an excellent shield if we're attacked. Ah, Halson is such a delight. 
Woe to the cultist who tangles with that thick hunk of an elf. like to know. Anytime. Oh dear. Uh, not really my drink, you know. I know, Astarian. You prefer blood. Well, yes. It was a joke. I know that too. It just wasn't funny. of a master speller. Wizard? W? I? Z? A? Y? R? D? Wizard! Oh! <laughs> it's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me. Well, not me. I know who I am. Closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. You, help me kill these asses. The girl will sprinkle you with gold. Are you sick? A pacifist in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Nobody's leaving this place alive, cock. Don't be so nice to me. It makes me want to be... nice back. So let us begin with the joyous. When is he happiest? Excuse me! I've been happy! Thank you very much. I'm not right now, but whose fault is that? Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I'm... Aye! Gonna blood not get any bleeding privacy around here. Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Hey, there is nothing I haven't done. And nothing I won't do. Clients usually choose me over my sister when they're looking for a man of... extremes. A wicked gleam lights up his eye, far more sinful than any you witnessed before. Oh, oh you filthy thing. You have surprised me. Most people come in here with, let me stuff all of your hair into my favorite orifice, or I can't come unless you use your deep gnome voice. 
I'm numbed to all the depravities I conduct on a daily basis, but... Boring sex. <laughs> That's a new fetish entirely. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. Servant ape, would you kill those rats, please? Their presence vexes me. Hello, hello. Ooh, are you the new cheese dropper? I do hope so. I'm almost down to the last crumbs. <sighs> we swallow, we swallow, we contain. must the dead three be so obvious and ugly with their decor? Blood and bones, bones and blood, pointing nonsense. At least Shah had some panache. As did Mistra's home on Elysium. Her ribbed vaults and buttresses created a magic entirely of their own. Not to mention her pleasure domes. <laughs> pleasure dome. It's a perfectly legitimate architectural feature. A hero is only as good as the friends they have at their back. This is why Boo favors this spot just above my buttocks. Mm. Oh, I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. I hope you enjoy this curated selection of goods for all your magical needs. didn't quite catch that. What did you say? The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. So, Starion, vampire dens. What should I expect? Vampires would be a safe bet. Hilarious. You belong on stage. Perhaps the blood-stained sort, with a hooded man standing by, axe in hand. So long as there's a cheering crowd. Keep away from me! No mumbling. No talk to rats. They only lie. All's well, I hope. Aside from the but I suppose you'll have to deal with the Elithids first. Please do tell me when you've thwarted every apocalypse that's currently in motion. Who is ready with the musings? Who is Halsen? Somehow such a person as you describe has entirely escaped Minsk's notice. How strange. Oh, the tiny puny elf with leaves in his hair and dirt under his fingernails. His name is Halitosin. How very unfortunate. Problem? No problem. He is so small that Minsk barely notices his existence. No, Boo! The druid did not beat Minsk at the arm wrestling! It was not a fair match, and it turned into an owl bear midway through, and there was grease on the tree stump. End them! Can you believe it? They removed the Baldur's Mouth puzzle section. That was the best bit. And for what? An interview with some lord. I don't care what he's done. I just want my letter games back!
there safe. You fornicated with a mind flayer. <laughs>